Hi guys, this is Chucks from Chucks Corner. I just got the brand new OnePlus 5 and I just can't keep it down with this amazing tips and tricks. And I'm gonna share those tips and tricks with you as well so you could master your OnePlus 5. OnePlus 5 now has dual cameras. That means you should be able to take great pictures. Well, to get to the camera app quickly, now you can just double press your power button and that's going to open up the camera app. OnePlus supports both on-screen navigation buttons and capacitive buttons. Well, by default, if you see, you don't have the on-screen navigation buttons, but you do have the capacitive buttons that we see here. To change to on-screen buttons or to configure the behavior of these capacitive buttons, you can go to the settings and go to the buttons, and here you will find the option to enable the on-screen navigation bar or change some of the behaviors of the capacitive backlight button, or you, know, you can even swap buttons between the back and the recent key and along with that you could also configure the long press and a double tap action for the home button the back button and the recent key as well very handy if you are looking for to set up more shortcuts for your buttons now if you do choose to have the on-screen navigation bar you can see a couple of options have changed now you could still swap buttons but now you have lost the options to set the shortcuts for the home back and recent ski one of the most loud features in oneplus devices is this alert slider button with this button with the slide you can switch to different sound profiles so for example with the slide i can switch to do not disturb mode and with another one one, I can switch to silent mode and not only that you can configure the settings for each of this profile if you go to your settings and then alert slider and there you will find all of the three profiles where you can dig deeper to set certain specific settings for example in the silent you can see I could enable disable the vibration I could also mute the media volume and similarly in the ring mode I could also set it to vibrate for calls it's a pretty handy feature especially if you're looking to switch to different sound profiles very quickly. Android has many options for customizing your device and one of them is applying custom icon packs. Now many of the launchers that you get like in Samsung, HTC U11, they don't support these custom icon packs out of the box. But if you install a custom launcher, you can get to apply those custom icon packs. As you can see here in my OnePlus device, I have a different icon pack applied, but I still got the default OnePlus launcher. So OnePlus supports applying custom icon packs that you can download from the Play Store. For example, if you go to the Play Store and search for icons, you're gonna get number of icons that you can download and install on your phone. Once you have them, go to your home screen, long press the home screen, and then if you dive into the settings, you can choose the custom icon pack that you want. As you can see here, I have several of my custom icon packs and I can change them. And basically these icons apply to my apps in my OnePlus 5 device. We are coming from iOS or just love how iOS has a widget screen when you swipe left from your home screen. OnePlus 5 has a similar option for you to enable in OnePlus 5 devices. So this is called the shelf and you can enable the shelf and add how much ever widgets you want in this shelf. It's pretty handy, especially if you just want to have those, you know, recent apps and recent contacts and even, you know, unread messages from other apps, especially if for the ones that support widgets in the screen and quickly you can switch between the home screen and the shelf. To enable this, if you long press your home screen and go to the settings, you have the shelf option here, which you can enable and disable for your OnePlus 5 device. OnePlus comes with Android 7.1.1. This means it supports app shortcuts. So you can long press an app icon in your home screen to reveal the shortcuts that it supports. So basically here, if you long press the settings, you get the battery data usage and Wi-Fi, and you can directly jump to the battery. Similarly, if you long press the Twitter app, you're gonna get some useful shortcuts that takes you directly to the new message, new tweet, and search very handy. Now, if you don't want this, you can always go to the home screen settings and disable and enable the app shortcuts here. There are a lot of activities going on in our phone and most of them are displayed here in the status bar, like this dual SIM status, the battery, the clock, 
the sound profile that you have chosen, a lot of stuff that comes up here. And sometimes you don't want that clutter and want to declutter by selecting which ones you want to see. Luckily, OnePlus has the option for us. If you go to the settings and the status bar options allows the different uh, configurations that you can have. For example, you could choose your battery style from the bar to you know basically the, the default one that you are used to. Or you can select the battery circle, which now gives a really nice circle effect for your battery indicator. And then you could also decide to show hours, minutes, and seconds, or the default, which you are used to showing the hours and minutes, or basically don't show this icon at all. So you have the choice. And if you go to the icon manager, there are heaps of stuff that you can disable and enable to your needs. Very handy, especially if you just want to have a clean look in your Android phone. OnePlus 5 supports dual SIM even for the models that are sold in the United States. This means basically you can now put two SIMs in your phone and use it accordingly. For example, if you go to the settings and SIM and network, you can see here I have two SIMs and I can choose basically the default SIM for voice call, SMS and mobile data. It's pretty handy. And you can also enable voice over LTE and Wi-Fi calling for supported networks. At least here in the US, T-Mobile support is fully available for your OnePlus 5. This is one of my favorite features in OnePlus 5. OnePlus 5 supports something called reading mode. So basically this turns your display into kind of what you get in Amazon Kindle. So especially when you're reading stuff, maybe browsing some articles. To set this up, if you go to settings, display, and you have the reading mode option there. And here you can select for which apps do you want to automatically turn on this reading mode, meaning that if you go to that app or open the app, it will actually enable the reading mode. And once you exit the app, it will turn back the normal display. You can add how much ever apps you want. And here you can see I've added the Amazon Kindle to have the reading mode. You could also turn on the reading mode all the time by flick of a switch here. Now, what happens if I go to my Amazon Kindle? As you can see, it's actually pure white as, as is expected in normal display. Once I choose that, now it's going to change the color to something what I would read in my Kindle. And it's actually pretty good, especially when night or even just trying to read the book, um, especially in Kindle and Chrome. Now, once you exit, you can see how it actually changes to a normal display as here it is. And now it comes back to normal. So this is pretty handy, especially especially if you want to not strain your eyes when reading books from your phone. OnePlus 5 also supports ambient display well. So basically what it means is if you pick up your phone, it's going to display an ambient display where it shows the current notifications. And if at all any notification comes, it will also wake up the screen with a black and white ambient display to show the notification. To configure these, if you go to your settings and if you go to the display and scroll down and you will find the ambient display and the lift up display option over here enable these two to get these options in your oneplus 5 another way to just wake up your screen is double tap and that will wake up the screen and take you to the lock screen to enable this if you go to your settings and instead of the display you have to go to the gestures and there you have the double tap to wake now that we are talking about gestures oneplus 5 also supports gestures in the lock screen when the display is off to basically open certain apps or launch certain actions. For example, here in my lock screen, I can draw a V and that's going to activate the flashlight. I can draw V again and that's going to turn off my flashlight. There you go. And that's my flashlight turned off. To configure this setup, if you go to your settings and if you go to the gestures, and here at the bottom you have several options but very limited to the letters that you can draw o v s m and w so you can open um, any action for example for my m i have chosen to play music and again you can open certain shortcuts like camera open the front camera directly record a video open flashlight and open shelf sometimes we would want to protect certain apps from your friends or you know anybody that you hand over your phone so basically one plus five supports something called app locker where you can select to lock the apps which then requires you to either have your fingerprint or enter the pin to get to open the app to configure this if you go to your settings 
security and fingerprint and click on the app locker and that's going to allow you to select certain apps that you want to lock so for example i can go select the gallery app over here and now if i try to open my gallery app it's going to ask to enter the pin or you know do the fingerprint support and that's going to open my app OnePlus 5 also supports night mode to cause less strain to your eyes when you know using your phone with low light or during the night. To set this up, you can go to your settings, display, and you have the night mode option over there. You can either select to turn on night mode manually, or you can also select to turn on automatically from sunset to sunrise. And you could also choose the strength, how weak and strong you want, basically how warmer or brighter you want the display to be. One of the other things OnePlus 5 supports is to choose a dark theme for your entire OnePlus 5 system. So for example, if you go to settings, you can see I have a white background with you know, blue icons and black text. Well, that's basically I'm using the system's default theme. Now, if you wanna change this to a dark theme, if you go to your settings and display, and there you have the option to change the theme. And here I can select the light, which is the default, or I can select the dark. And that's gonna change my theme entirely to dark mode. And, and this is again only applying to the system and not for the entire their app so if you do open any apps they are going to still be you know the same display uh, theme that they support they don't change to a dark theme but if you do go to settings there you have the entire thing turned now into a dark mode the other thing also you can do is if you go here you can change the accent color right now i have set to amber or orange but you can change that to say purple or blue and any any color that you like and now you can see that's going to change all to the color that i just selected even the notification shade with all the shortcuts here one of the other cool things you can do in OnePlus 5 is change the LED notification color. As you might have seen, you get a small light come up here blinking if you have any notifications. Now that by default is green color. Well, if you go to display and at the bottom, you will find the pulse notification light and then you have the LED notifications. And you can here customize the notification color for the default notification, you know, when the battery is full, when the battery is charging, and basically you could also enable which apps would have you know uh, enable this led notification for but you can't change the color per app but at least you can change the default notification color from a selected list uh, that you have here with so many options to wake up your phone and the display is off especially when the phone is in your pocket or in a bag you would want to ensure that they don't accidentally wake up the screen to do that, if you go to advanced in your settings and you have the option to enable the pocket mode, which basically prevents any accidental screen touches or you know fingerprint operations that could wake up your phone or even unlock if you have the smart lock setup. So make sure you enable this to avoid those accidental wake ups of your phone. When we play games, sometimes you don't want to be disturbed and OnePlus 5 has a setting for that. If you go to your settings, advanced and there you have gaming do not disturb mode here basically you can say you can you know block notifications except for calls and other alarms you can also lock the button so you don't accidentally you know uh, touch them and you can basically now add the apps that will have this gaming do not disturb mode enabled so basically if you're having games you can add those games over here so if i can select alto and now that is uh, put under the gaming do not disturb more whenever I play Alto's Adventure. So those were some of the best tips and tricks you can find for your OnePlus 5. Now make sure you do set everything up to get the best out of your OnePlus 5. If you like my videos and want to see more like this, subscribe to my channel. And please, when you do subscribe, hit that bell button so you get notified as soon as my video goes up in my YouTube channel. Well, if you have any comments or any other tips uh, that I missed in my OnePlus 5 video, please do share them in the comments below. Until next time, bye.